that when a wealthy person is old and sick, they'll actually send CPS in and claim the family's abusing them to make to, to have the state make them a war, just like they steal kids, and then they suck that money out. It's just amazing. Um, like I said, I sat there. I, I, I went to this woman's home. I'm very familiar with the case. Uh, this was a hospital in Texas. I was in Texas before I came to Kansas uh, you know, in one of the larger cities, uh, just outside one of the largest cities in Texas. And they didn't uh, even tell the family, take your mama somewhere else. We're refusing her care. They just said, send her home. Bye-bye, Bluebird. And, 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 and on these yuppies are like, good, kill that old lady. Well, they're going to be old soon, or they're going to be in a car wreck soon, and they're going to be too stupid to even though they got soft killed. Well, and that's exactly um, exactly it, and and why when I moved and made a transfer um, of churches, uh, I haven't even looked into getting on one of the medical ethics boards here. Look, I know it's uh, painful. That's why I stay away from the CPS stuff. I used to go out in person to these, and it would make me break down crying after I would watch. I mean, I opened the hospital door with Mike Hansen, and they were the cop was choking the woman, saying "sign the paper," and it totally flipped me out. And I was like at this point of about you know you know, about to do something, but then I knew I had to continue my work. So then just the pain of being in my car, I sobbed like a baby. And I, I, haven't, I might sob like that once every 10 years. I didn't sob like that when my grandmother died, watching the demonic entities enjoy themselves, hell being created on earth. And, and, and then the woman was innocent, had done nothing. It was so incredible. It tore my guts out, but you can't give up. I would say become a crusader. Like Wesley J. Smith and other bioethicists and others, I would say be on all the boards you can be. But the main thing is this conflict of interest. You've got these private hospitals, charity hospitals, government funded, you know, all of them are somewhere or another government regulated. And no one really knows the big truth you just put out that's publicly available that there's a conflict of interest. You'll have what, say, 10 people on a board, but it, what, you can convene with six, depending on how it's set up, because some will be out of the town or whatever. And three of them or four of the six are hospital administrators, and they want the money. W whether it's give you more care than you need, because they're going to get money because you got good insurance, or whether just get this person out of here to die, we don't want to take care of them, when they've got a big, fat charity care account, and now they're not even teaching the doctors that they're supposed to donate 20 to 33% of their time, 25 to 33% of their time, to free health care. You know, that's, that's what how America took care of poor people, is doctors are supposed to, do, to provide free care. And then the infrastructure, equipment, and material, that's paid for with the charity money and with the increased uh, prices for people that are wealthy. Again, you're a bioethicist. Is that not correct? Yes, that's correct, Alex. So that uh, old, it's... beautiful system is being dismantled. Only the illegal aliens now are told about the charity care. They know they walk in, I'm having my baby, give me everything, I'm the boss. If you don't give it to me, I'm going to call you know, uh, you know, know, my group over, which is whatever, that's fine, health care. But then citizens aren't even told, and there you were as a bioethicist in Texas on the board, and they said, we're not going to take care of this old lady. We're not even going to tell her family she's going to die, send her home. I mean, that is murder, basically. Yes, it, it is. It absolutely is. Doctors are no longer trained to be caregivers. Uh, and even, uh, you know, the nurses were caregivers for a while, but he, and my wife's a nurse. She's been a nurse for 30 years. She's been in management, has managed an entire hospital. Uh, and they're training the them to system. not be caregivers and the Hippocratic Oath and, and, and the honor of being a caregiver, you know, a hospitaler. That's where that term comes from. Helping the sick, you know, giving your time. I mean, my dad enjoys doing the charity care he does. He likes it because he's a human being. And, and that's what he's meant to do. But now they never tell the public that doctors are supposed to do, to, to, to do part of their care for free. So they're phasing that out. So you're going to get government death care instead run by private bureaucrats and big mega HMOs. Uh, and it's, it's even uh, in some cases worse than that, Alex, with respect to the doctors. My wife currently works you know, in the town that we're in, in the local county jail as a nurse. And one of the things that's blown me away is the indigent people, the people that just do not have the money to pay, who have now been arrested, and she is one. She screens these people as they come in, so she finds out what they've been arrested for. The numbers that have been arrested because they haven't been able to pay their medical bills. Oh, and yeah, that was in the news lately. The debtor prisons are back, and they're arresting people for medical bills. Under federal law, they're not even allowed to give you a ding on your credit. 
for uh, medical bills, but they're now doing that. Uh, and absolutely, they are arresting people. Uh, I've seen cases of a woman arrested for not paying a $5 bill that she wasn't even aware of. In fact, guys, Google that. Uh, uh, the poor houses are now in the U.S., people being arrested for unpaid bills. We'll put a news article on screen for folks. So they're now uh, – please continue. Oh, they, um, uh, we've, in the last uh, two months, my wife's been there for the last year uh, working. She has brought home um, and told me of, she works night shift, of about um, uh, six to eight cases. And she's told me of people, and we're talking bills of $30, $40, $50. And they have arrested them. And basically it's not because they've not paid the bill, but because they haven't paid the bill that the judge, judge ordered them to pay. So it's the order that of the judge that they're being arrested for because they haven't done it. But top uh, constitutional but, lawyers have been in the news saying this is really illegal. Oh, in Kansas... Kansas, the state that we're in, in our Constitution, it says there shall be no debtor prisons. In the state Constitution, and I am just floored, I have uh, started... No, to sir, it's pure here. evil. You know what, this call is so important. Stay there, Jim, and, and then we'll get to uh, Jay and a few others. Uh, we've got uh, Joe Rogan and Eddie Bravo coming in to talk about a host of issues. Uh, of course, host of the UFC uh, here tonight in Austin, Texas. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, on the other side with uh, the continuation talking to this bioethicist. And I've had a lot of other well-known bioethicists on to say the same thing. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country. And it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full-acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. What is a wind generator? How can the wind produce power for a small cabin? How can wind energy be stored and used during an emergency? Can I assemble my own wind generator? For answers to questions about wind power, visit windbluepower.com. Did you know the wind could provide your family with emergency power? It can with a wind generator from windbluepower.com. Learn how our amazing Light Breeze wind generator kits start charging a 12-volt battery and just 6 mile per hour wind. Or see the new Cyclone X2 dual kit featuring two wind generators on just one tower. And learn why schools and universities across the country utilize our products to teach about wind power and alternative energy at windbluepower.com. All kits qualify for a 30% IRS tax credit for residential energy efficient property. Enter coupon code RADIO for a 5% discount at windbluepower.com. That's windbluepower.com. Or call 800-976-0026. That's 800-976-0026. So you've got your emergency food, water, guns, and ammo, right? What about your paperwork, your medical and insurance records, legal documents, emergency plans? Keeping and knowing where those vital papers are can really prepare you. That's why you need Prepared Binder, an emergency binder designed to keep all your important documents in one safe place. See Prepared Binder at preparedbinder.com or call 480-284-1826. Prepared Binder, organized peace of mind. In a coming apart world, you need something to keep it tied together. That something is Atwood Rope, the highest quality rope made in the USA from exotic braids for military, rescue, arborists, boating, tow line, shipyard, or decoration. Quality rope at affordable prices you and your customers can depend on. Find a dealer or shop online at atwoodrope.net. Enter promo code RADIO to receive a free 100 feet of 550 paracord. Atwood Rope, working to keep the world tied together. Coming up in about six minutes, Joe Rogan and Eddie Bravo are in studio uh, with us. We're going to talk about 
well, the nature of reality. We're going to talk about uh, the way the public's being desensitized. We're going to discuss, uh, I went and watched Joe's routine last night. He was talking about a lot of points I, I've, I've made. And I was like, Joe, I feel like I'm almost stealing your material, though. I've never heard it. He goes, no, that's just what everybody's thinking at a subconscious level, that they knew that when they tested the atomic bomb in 1944 secretly, uh, they knew there was a chance it could ignite the atmosphere. In fact, the majority of physicists and meteorologists on the Manhattan Project thought that it was going to ignite the entire Earth's atmosphere, but they went ahead and hit the red button. So I want to get Joe to talk about that and discuss that and understand with genetic engineering and all of this, that's what the globalists are doing today. They're just at CERN and everywhere else, these superconducting, super colliding uh, cyclotrons. They're just pressing buttons, pulling levers and going, this might make a black hole. Let's do it. Uh, let's make an artificial sun. Let's do it. Uh. I mean, they are, instead of just hitting one red button, they're like monkeys as fast as they can, just flipping every switch. So we'll be discussing that. But this hardcore issue uh, with Jim in Kansas, who's a uh, medical bioethicist, and he just can't be part of it as he watches them basically killing people. And uh, this is going on, and, and they mean to do this to basically everyone alive today. In the future, even if you have good insurance, you're going to be denied care, and the federal government's going to tell you what that new care is. Uh, but you had some other points, Jim, you wanted to make as the break cuts you off. You were talking about debtor prisons. Did you guys ever find the articles about debtor prisons are back in the U.S.? Are people are arrested for not paying bills? Let, yeah, let's put that on screen because folks won't believe that. Uh, but go ahead. We, we've got about three minutes left, four minutes left. Finish your point, sir. I just want to make two, two real points. One, um, I ended up facing uh, an ID theft, uh, and so we had ended up with a bunch of stuff. And I learned how to deal with these people when they're coming at you, uh, and I would encourage um, uh, you know, other people to really look into how to deal with them because if you don't answer some complaint that the judges send out or that they send out, they are coming after people. Uh, and in this economy, it's just absolutely incredible, and we've seen it. Uh, and all of this is being done uh, based upon uh, Beecham and Childress's uh, medical theory of uh, the principle of justice. And it's really interesting how justice has been perverted. It is no longer justice for each individual, but it is a collective justice that uh, is really, uh, you know, perverted, really, justice for the folks at the top. And I, I see it again and again. I want to encourage, and I encourage my parishioners, and I want to encourage everybody that is involved in any sort of medical care, and we all are, to be heavily involved in your Medicare. Do not just trust what the doctors say. Ask question after question after question, because if you do not, you will be railroaded. Well, all I can say is, great job, Jim, and I know it's painful to see them killing people uh, and, and doing it through this legalese, just like the Nazis did. That's how they started out in the 30s. And it, it's, it's up to you to go to the newspapers, to go public. Uh, I mean, we've got to warn people that this is going on, and they're now trying to standardize it and trying to accelerate the culture of death and the death panel uh, conversion uh, within the hospitals. And they're counting on people not standing up to this. I mean, in a year they've gone from denying it to saying, you know, Bill Gates, the, the clip we played yesterday, saying, yeah, kill the old lady, just like the cover of Newsweek, the case for killing granny, and hire 10 teachers. And so they're creating the illusion that it's a sum game, and by cutting services, you get a better society. And in the 50s, they developed algorithms on this. In closing, when McDonald's said, we'll put out thank you trash cans and people will throw their own trash away and we'll keep that as profit and it actually lowers the culture of service and people think they're getting a better deal it's like self-checkouts and everything but really you're only destroying the economy and jobs that people are going to have so it's all scientifically designed so it's the same thing with health care you know we're going from the ritz carlton to mcdonald's health care we'll be right back this is gcn the Genesis Communications Radio Network. You've heard Alex explain how the Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced colloidal silver solutions, yet many are unaware of the entire function of the Silver Lung System and how it has been designed to deliver your silver solutions anywhere in or on the body. My name is Mario Cifaldi, and I'm the developer of the Silver Lungs Generator. Not only does the Silver Lung System produce endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions, 